gamers, welcome to my boulders. Now what you're looking at today is a little hack we like to call Super Mario Endless Earth. This actually came out last year, and there's been a lot of debate in terms of, you know, whether there should be an open world 2D Mario game. We've never really seen anything like that. Well, this hack is literally an open world 2D Mario in the new Super Mario Bros. style. We're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see how the heck it is. Uh, this is something I have not played, but I remember seeing the trailer a long time ago, and I thought this looked incredibly cool. So this hack has like a story and you collect stars and stuff. It's really awesome. So let's go ahead and just ju jump right into it. And what's really cool about this hack is like all of these little cutscenes, it's all hand drawn stuff. And it's in a really awesome art style. And I don't know, it just kind of makes me wish that like, you know, 2D Mario games would kind of go for a style like this. Like I wish Nintendo would actually do this because this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like I know I'm not paying attention to the story, but like just thinking about a game like, you know, Wario Land Shake It, that is a beautiful game, beautifully hand drawn on the Wii. And they never implemented that kind of style into a Mario game, which is so disappointing. And it, I just feel like one day we have to see a Mario game in this art style. All right, here we go. I think we're about to start our video game. Oh, we landed on the observatory, or some planet. I'm not exactly sure we landed. Look at that, we're getting the kiss before the game even starts. That's how you know this is gonna be an epic adventure. A little perplexed why we're starting on a, uh, a hub world screen. I'm guessing the level itself, that's when it really opens up. Wow, dude. This is all custom. Well, the coins and blocks aren't, but all of these other textures are all custom. This is sick. Oh wait, okay, I just have to look at the map. Okay, so I need to go top left. Wow! Look at how gorgeous this game looks. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think one thing that would have been kind of nice if there was a map on the bottom, just to kind of give us a little bit of an indication as to where to go. Now, I don't know how big these levels are yet, so it might not even matter that there's not a map, but I guess we'll see. Epic timing. Again, Mario doesn't freeze in place. Oh my God, I can't get over how nice that is. Now we're underground, and it's, it's so far, this has been all original music. I don't recognize this from any Mario game. Welcome to our secret network. What? What secret network? Toad, you're looking a little, uh, you're looking kind of stiff, buddy, all right? Wow, look at, oh, what the heck? Oh, this is like, wait, is this like a way to travel from different parts of the, the endless earth? Okay, also, oh my god. Oh, that's, so, dude, it's so weird to like not get stopped when you're getting hit by something. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, I'm dead. It's kind of weird because it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything, but it also does. It just feels like I'm doing a lot of exploring, which is very, it's a weird feeling for a Mario game. Oh, is there anything up here? Um, a star. We got a star. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure those are the main things we're looking for, is, is to basically just collect stars. I can't even imagine trying to map out this game. Like, I know this game took several years to make, and I can see why. Wow, look at this level! This is so cool! We've seen like eight different themes in like ten minutes. I'm dead. Well, not dead, but just feel dead. Oh my god, look at this jump. Ha, ah, look at that! God gamer strats, and I'm dead. Look at that cloud, he's just all like... Oh, how do I get in there? That's a fortress. That's what I'm supposed to do. I have to do the fortress thing. I guess I have to get like all the stars. I'm gonna get so used to Mario not stopping from getting hit and then go back to regular Mario game and then I'm gonna freeze. Then I'll be angry. Okay, everything is starting to connect, but I still don't know where everything is yet. So I think that's the structure of the game. The levels themselves are open world, but it's still technically linear, which it kind of has to be because it's a Mario game. But it's a really neat, a really neat take in terms of how to go about the, the concept. Honestly, let's go back and just take another random pipe and try to find new places. I think that's how this works. Find eight stars, go to the fortress, and then you do that eight times. So technically there's 64 stars. Wow, there's like a thousand pipes to take. I don't know which one to do. The screen light glitched out. What the heck? I'm not supposed to be here. I feel like this is something that you kind of have to play for a long time before really getting a feel for it. I don't know if I'm gonna get an idea for like where everything is, but you know, I'm still really enjoying it. Okay, that took me a second. Oh yeah, let's go. Knocking him out. No, why did I do that? That was such a dumb death. He's got f foreground and background textures. I don't even think, was there anything in the original New Super Mario Bros that had foregr foreground textures? That was sly, that is sly. 
It's, it's obviously just the normal grids, but come on, that is freaking clever. Just replacing the textures with the honeycombs? Oh, man. Oh, man, that's smart. Oh, baby. Oh, we got a, a 200 IQ play coming up. Check this out. Got him. <gasps> uh, I feel like I've been here. Also, wait, no, I haven't. Hold on. I have not been here. There is a start. Wait, what? I went through the platform. Okay, hold on. What the heck? The fire snake is climbing up the wall. He can go through the wall. He does not care. I feel like I've gotten to the point where I could go back to that fortress door and maybe go through the castle and fight the, the Bowser. Wait, this is the fortress door. It's open now. Well, but it looks different. Okay, well, anyway, let's see what's going on in here. Man, this game is giant. Okay. Oh, is this it? Is this... Is this it, guys? This might be... Okay, we got a door. So, my thing is there were three ways to get to this door. Oh, this is it. This is the fight. Oh, what? Wait, the Wiggler is a boss? The Wiggler is a boss. Or is it just a... I don't know what's going on. Okay, I thought the Wiggler... <laughs> I don't think the Wiggler is a boss. I was gonna say, like, wow, this is crazy. Oof, I got, uh, got a bit of slowdown. Understandable with how much is going on, though. Oh, here we go. This is it. I think. This is so much buildup. Oh, it's probably gonna launch me. Yeah, let's go. All right. This is no way. Okay. It's another section. I thought I had to fight the boss on these three pillars. Wow, there is so much buildup to this boss. Wait, what? What the heck? That was the boss. The level, just beating the level was the boss. Oh my god. So my theory was correct. That's how this game works. So you have to find all the stars in one giant level. And then I think when you get enough, that's when the fortress level is unlocked. You just have to get through it. I don't think there's a boss battle. I mean, unless there was like another fortress. I don't know. That's really loud. I mean, unless there was like another fortress or something, but wow, that's insane. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, gamers. Hope you join me next time by the boulders. And that's about it. Gonna get going. See ya.